Hey guys, it's Ro and it is the weekend. I'm catching up on one of my favorite shows, Scandal, because I love Olivia Pope. And I'm watching season five, episode 14. It's an episode called I See You. Olivia Pope at the beginning of the episode brings over this delicious signature crepe cake to dinner at her dad's house and Jake's there and his new fiance, so there's a lot of tension. But all I can focus on is that cake. She said it's a 20 layer crepe cake with the perfect amount of evenly spread pastry cream between each layer. And I'm like, <gasps> So I thought it would be fun to do a DIY crepe cake recipe this weekend. And I'm really excited because we have never made crepes before on this channel. So today will be a first. Let's get started. The things you'll need to make the crepes will be six eggs at room temperature, three cups of warm milk, six tablespoons of sugar, six tablespoons of melted butter, one and a half cups of all purpose flour, half a teaspoon of almond extract, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and half a teaspoon of salt. Then the things you'll need to make the pastry cream filling will be one cup of whole milk, one tablespoon of butter, two egg yolks, two tablespoons of cornstarch, three tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, and half of a vanilla bean. You'll also need two cups of heavy whipping cream and two tablespoons of sugar to make the whipped cream. The first thing that we're gonna do is make our crepe batter. We are gonna sift our flour, sugar, and salt. Pit, pit, pit. Whisk together the dry ingredients and set it off to the side. Now it is time to whisk together our wet ingredients. We're gonna start with our eggs, crack them open into a big bowl and whisk them up. Next, we are gonna add our milk. I've warmed it up in the microwave just a little bit so that when it's combined with our butter, we don't get lumps. Almond extract and vanilla extract. Whisk together again until well combined. Both of our mixtures are now ready. It is time to combine them. Pour all of the wet ingredients into the dry bowl. Do, 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 do. I like to give the mixture a quick whisk before I use the blender. To finish our crepe batter, I'm gonna be using an immersion blender because this will make the batter very, very smooth. And when you're making crepes, the smoother, the batter, the better. You can use a regular hand mixer, but these puppies, super smooth. <laughs> They gotta be up to Olivia Pope standard. So those are like up here. Oh, crepe, yeah. Once the batter is blended, cover it with a piece of food safe plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for a minimum of two hours. This allows the flour plenty of time to absorb the liquid and give our crepes a delicate texture. Yum, 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 yum. Just took the crepe batter out of the fridge using a rubber spatula. Give it a quick mix. Then take a metal spatula, nibble of butter, quarter cup measuring cup, and a 10 inch non-stick pan over to the stove. Put your pan on the stove and turn the heat to medium low. Add the small amount of butter and as it melts, let it coat the bottom of the pan. Using the measuring cup, scoop the batter into the middle of the pan and quickly swirl it around in a circle to cover the bottom. Cook until the edges are slightly browned, which usually takes about one minute. Flip the crepe over and cook for an additional 30 seconds or so. Carefully remove your finished crepe and place it onto a baking sheet and last Lastly, repeat this until you have 20 crepes. Our crepes are ready, they smell delicious. If you guys just want an awesome crepe recipe for the weekend, for brunching, look no further, you can just stop here. But I am determined, I am gonna make a yummy crepe cake today. So I'm gonna set these off to the side and while they're cooling, I'm gonna make that yummy pastry cream. <laughs> First step to making pastry cream in a medium bowl, add sugar, cornstarch, and salt, and whisk together till well combined. Next, add a quarter cup of milk and two egg yolks. Whisk together one more time. Now, in a medium-sized saucepan, pour the rest of your milk and half a vanilla bean. Over here, I've got a cutting mat and a sharp cutting knife. I've cut a slit down the middle of my bean, put some pressure at the top, and scrape down, and that's what we want, all those seeds. I've got my sauce pot with the milk and vanilla and my egg mixture ready. We're gonna take both of these over to the stove. Turn the heat to medium and cook until scalding, which is when little bubbles will start to form all around the edge. Once scalding, slowly pour the heated milk into the egg mixture while whisking until fully combined. Pour this mixture back into the saucepan and cook over medium low heat, whisking constantly until 
until it starts to thicken. Then remove from the heat and take it back to your baking station. Our pastry cream is almost done. It is fresh off the stove. Be careful, it's still hot. Now we are going to strain it into a large bowl. Oh, that smells good. Push the pastry cream through. This helps give it a nice smooth texture and catch any big chunks. Then add your butter. This is gonna make it nice and shiny. Mix together using a whisk. The pastry cream is ready, but it has to cool to room temperature. We don't want it to develop a skin on the top, so I have plastic wrap here to put on the top to touch. Instead of covering the bowl, we cover the top. Then set it off to the side while we make some whipped cream. Making whipped cream is easy in a medium sized bowl. Pour in your heavy whipping cream and sugar. Then using a hand mixer, mix together until stiff peaks form. Whipped cream is ready. Pastry cream has cooled. We are gonna fold them together, starting with just one little scoop of whipped cream first. Folding is really easy. You just scoop underneath, fold over, and then turn the bowl. This helps the two mixtures get used to each other before you add the rest. Once again, gently fold together till well combined. We've made our crepes, we've made our pastry cream, now it is time to assemble our crepe cake. Choose whatever dish you'd like to serve your cake on. I chose a white cake plate that looks like the one from the episode of Scandal because I want it to look as similar as I can. To assemble our cake, pick up one of these little guys, place it into the center, then scoop a dollop of cream, place it into the center of the crepe, and then spread it out to the edges. Did you? First layer complete. 19 more to go. Just keep repeating this process until your cake is 20 layers. Ta-da! Here is the signature 20 layer crepe cake from the TV show Scandal. It turned out amazing, it looks delicious. I already cut myself a slice. I think Olivia Pope would approve because each layer is lined with just the perfect amount of pastry cream. We'll be posting lots of pictures and the recipe on rosannapancino.com, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So you can check them out there. And if you guys make this crepe cake, or you just make some yummy crepes with the recipe, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations. It just makes me happy. It makes my day. I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe and you have a good weekend. Bye-bye. I'm so fancy today. I got a little red wine like Olivia Pope. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. Mmm, 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 mmm. Hello weekend. <laughs> I'm throwing a Netflix party for myself today and you're invited and you're invited. Come on team, bye you guys.